Hi, Donna. I'd like it if our wedding can be as extravagant as possible, okay? After all, this is going to be the wedding for your family's oldest son. So instead of giving us some boring little wedding, you should be aiming for something that'll wow everyone. I'm glad to see that you're trying to support the preparation for this wedding, but my family doesn't really care about it being that big or not. So I don't think we have to work too hard to make it have so much wow factor. I just want this wedding to be something that'll make you and Nick happy, okay? Well, I want to have a wedding that doesn't embarrass Nick or I. Oh, is that so? But in our case, we don't have that much saved up for this. We'd only have enough to throw a $30,000 wedding, or so, and that's not that great. You understand what I mean, don't you? He's your oldest son, so he should have a much nicer wedding than whatever $3,000 can afford. I don't really think you two need to go all out on this wedding. And in our family, we really don't think he needs to impress anyone with a nice wedding just because he's the oldest. So please, don't worry about what others think and just have a wedding that'll make the two of you great memories. Huh? I'm telling you that I want to have a wedding that'll show off the family that you have. I've already made my decision to marry your oldest son and so I'd like to have a wedding where he doesn't have to feel embarrassed for himself or for you guys. Yet you keep acting like you don't want any of what I'm asking for? Huh? Huh? Does this mean you're going to start picking on his new wife? Because you don't care for me at all, you think it's alright for me to have a lame wedding, don't you? Doesn't that mean you're going to be ruining your son's wedding as well? I never had any intention of that. I'm just saying that you shouldn't be so worked up over a wedding when it's supposed to be about the two of you. And honestly, my family is all from the countryside, M. I know that way back in the day, families would want to make sure that their first son's wedding was the most amazing, but in this day and age, that way of thinking is way outdated. Well, I don't think so. I think it would be nice to have a flashy wedding that lets everyone know that your son is getting married to me. Uh, really? And that's why I'm trying to get you to agree with me to have the most spectacular wedding for the two of us. Yet you keep saying you're fine with us having a small wedding. In other words, you don't really care if we're happy with our wedding or not. I can see you're already starting to enjoy picking on me. I told you, I have no intention of that. And the fact that you both are getting married makes me and my husband very happy. Then you'd be alright if this wedding is big and fabulous, right? Uh, um, I guess so. I guess you could see it that way then. Then we'll do what makes the both of you happy and have a great huge wedding so that we can get married. But because it'll be making you guys happy to see us getting married, I'd like you to be responsible for the wedding. And I'd also like you to pay for it. Huh? You want me paying for it? Y you're asking that we also help pay for your wedding then? Of course I am. I'm already putting in a lot of effort as it's to marry your son so that you all can be so happy. So if you want to respect my effort, I'd like for you guys to get some money ready to pay for this amazing wedding. Um, well... Alright then, I'll let you handle the costs of whatever much this whole wedding comes out to, okay? After all, this is the wedding for your first son, so it has to be very important. And since I'll become his new wife, I'll make sure to put all my effort into making this wedding as beautiful and dazzling as possible. Nick, have you guys already moved in with each other? Everything that I sent over to you had been sent back to me. Yeah, actually, we did move in together. And what kind of things were you sending to me? Presents from all our family. The wedding the two of you had a little while back was very gorgeous, right? Everyone in the family felt like they should have given you guys more back then. So these are extra presents to make up for how spectacular the wedding was for them. Well, then I suppose I will take all of those. Can you send them all to my office or something? But there's quite a bit here, and taking it all home from your office would be a pain, right? Would you like me to just put them in my car and bring them to your new house? That's the best, I think. So can you tell me the address of your new house? Um, you don't have to do that. I don't want any of you guys knowing where I'm living now. <laughs> huh? 
Just have it all sent to my office, please. That'll be the most convenient for me. Wait a minute, Nick. Why don't you want to tell me where you're living now? I'm your mom after all, so you shouldn't be worked up about telling me where you're living currently. Huh? <laughs> Why would I tell my mom where I live after she never seemed to care about her oldest son's wedding? <laughs> huh? When did I ever say I never cared about your wedding? Your dad and I have been caring about you forever, and we take anything that happens to or with you as important. Well, if you really cared about me, you would have given me more than just $10,000 for my wedding. <laughs> so don't tell me you care for me and want to make me important when your actions have already spoken for you. Huh? I'm aware that our house is all old and in the countryside, but you guys have held on to that house for the longest time. So you and Dad should have had more than $10,000 to hand to M and I for the wedding, right? Yet all we got was a small check for $10,000. This was your first son's wedding, and you should have given me at least 10 times that amount to show how much you care about me. T 10 times as much? Did you know that we originally didn't plan on giving you guys any money for your wedding? But M kept saying that I was picking on her for some reason. And so that $10,000 was given to you both so that she'd stop saying things like that. Huh? So you gave us the money only to shut her up? Do you not realize that I'm your oldest son? Not only am I supposed to get the house after you die, but you should be treating me with the respect I deserve. What? Our family has always thought the oldest son is the most important, right? But you guys try to make us all forget that. Until one day, M started teaching me everything that this world used to think. So thanks to her, my eyes have once again been opened. I mean, she had to take on the pressure of becoming my wife, and that took a lot of courage. Yet after all the work she put in to be with me, and me being the oldest son, you and dad act like you're not thankful. It's because of both of your disgusting attitudes towards us that I'm not telling you where I live. What? If you guys want to keep acting selfish over there, then so will we. Now, go and have all those presents sent to my office so that I can get them later. Hey Em, do you think that the way you thought I was treating you before was not caring about you and Nick? Even though I gave you $10,000 to put towards that wedding you both had like you asked, are you saying you're unhappy with the amount I gave you guys and you wanted more from us? Yeah, I'm nothing but unhappy with that amount. I'm disappointed in learning that you really don't care about what happens to us. Huh? I'm sure the only reason you're texting me now is because you learned from Nick that him and I moved. We tried our best to move without any of you noticing, but I guess we didn't try hard enough to hide ourselves. Why are you guys not going to tell the rest of the family where you live now? I understand that you're not that happy with the amount of money I gave you, but... But just because that you're going to treat us like that, we aren't even related to you guys? That's not very nice. We're not just treating you that way. We know that you guys aren't our family anymore, and we have no need telling some strangers about where we live. Of course, you'd never tell a stranger your address either, right? And so, that's really all this. Us two just trying to stay safe and all. What? You see us as strangers now? Yep. If all of you plan to do was giving us $10,000, that makes you strangers to us. So we have zero reason to be telling you anything about where we are. Wait, what is going on here, Em? Don't you feel that the two of you are getting a little out of hand here? What? You know very well that I originally had no plans on giving you guys any money for your wedding. But you came to me saying that I'd be picking on you if I didn't give something to help pay. And so I had no other choice but to help you out, so that you wouldn't get carried away. Yet, I even gave you $10,000, Em. But for some reason you think that isn't good enough amount? Do you not at least feel a little thankful for what I gave you? Oh, come on! $10,000 is just pocket change. I've heard about all the money you and your family has come from Nick. Huh? The money we have? 
He said you guys never had to worry about buying a house or land because it's been passed down you. So without having to spend anything on that place, you've been able to just save everything you've earned. Yet, with all of that money in your guys' pockets, all you could spare Nick and I was $10,000. So what's wrong with us calling such couple people strangers after they did that? If you had that kind of money all along, you should have been fine with paying for every bit of my wedding with him. What? You, you really thought that you'd have my family pay for all your wedding expenses because you think we had the money? Of course I wanted you to. After all, we're the first married couple to come from your family with your first son. Yet you didn't bother to help us without me having to waste my time trying to ask you. And so, Nick have thought a lot about what's happened. And we're starting to wonder if you and your husband have already burned through all the money you had. Therefore, making it hard for you guys to give us anything more than a measly $10,000. What? Well, if that's the case, then I suppose I can understand you guys only having enough money to give us $10,000. Although, you should know that your job as the parents is to save up as much money as you can to give to your kids. But now, we're just finished with you guys because you probably went and spent all of that money on yourselves and that's why we came to this decision. We have no reason to be related to any of you anymore now that you have nothing. That's why we've moved into a new house and don't plan on telling you where it is. I won't even let you see the baby that I give birth to when the time comes. What? Wait a second, Em. Are you saying that you're already pregnant now? Yes, I actually am. And we found out that it's going to be a cute little girl. You're saying that you've had the baby long enough now to where you even know its gender? I never knew about that. Well, why would you have needed to know? Especially now, I'm no longer going to let her meet you, so don't get any hopes up. I don't want my baby knowing about how you only forked over $10,000 to your oldest son and his wife for their amazing wedding, when you should have at least handed us $70,000. I'm not letting any strangers near my daughter. You're going to regret this, you know. Say whatever you'd like about me. You don't even have the money to back up your words anymore. I won't have any regrets because now I don't have to worry about taking care of you when you get old and senile. Then I guess we'll have to give a lot of our money to our next oldest son. We have his wedding to look forward to as well. I think he'll be nice enough to make it whatever kind of wedding he wants. Huh? I can see that you don't seem to care anymore about me and my family, and you're not even thankful for what we've already done. And since you're now telling me that you want to pretty much cut ties with me, I have no other choice but to support him. So I'll make sure that the money that was meant to go to the both of you goes to him instead. You both have a lovely life together. You'll have a baby to look forward to, and your new life living with Nick. Good luck trying to make things work with just the two of you. What? Wait a minute, please. What exactly are you talking about? You just said that you'd give most of your money to your second oldest son instead? I thought that you guys had already used up all your money that was supposed to go to Nick and I, right? And that's what you both chose to believe instead of letting us tell you. The money that my husband and I have had for the longest time was always meant to go to all of our kids as we got older. So we didn't need you asking all the time for money, because in time, it would be coming. Just like Nick told you, our family does have a ton of money, loads of it. What? So you're saying you guys haven't spent it all yet? Then why the hell did you guys not help us pay for our wedding or whatsoever? That was the wedding of your oldest son and he was marrying someone as kind and beautiful as me. That's because we didn't feel the same about as you did about him being our first son. In our minds, because he was the oldest son, he should be able to work harder for what he wants. But to you and everyone else, that lived centuries ago. You think that he was supposed to be babied by my husband and I all his life? So that's why when you guys had decided to get married, we felt that he wouldn't need our help and could get all this done on his own? Huh? My husband and I are both aware of the pressure that he had on him as he grew up. Having to take care of his younger brothers at times and having this idea of him being the next man of the house always pushed him onto him. 
Well, we didn't want him to have the feel of the pressure, and that's another reason we were just going to let him do as he pleased without saying that he'd get our house one day. That's the whole reason we never planned to give him a penny for that wedding. Is that what you guys were thinking? Yet you came at me saying that because he's the oldest son, he needs to be treated with the most respect and have everything given to him on a silver platter. I understand that you wanted to share the same views that our ancestors have regarding the firstborn son, and that's fine. But that does not mean you get to use that as an excuse to get your hands on my family's money and this house. That's never what I meant. I just thought that him being your first son meant that you'd all care about him a lot. Well, then you can use that as an excuse to start treating him like the king he is within your own household, okay? And you said that your first child's going to be a girl, right? Well, that must mean you won't be able to give your house to her, so you'll have to keep having babies until you can give birth to a boy. Um, you think I should have another? I only ever wanted to give birth to one child. Two is way too much. What are you talking about? You want to make sure that you have a son, right? So then work your hardest to make sure you have someone to save up all your money for. Uh, um... I'm going to be sad to lose my son and his wife, but you both have a great time. You both can have a great family together and continue to carry on the traditional thinking of our ancestors. Wait, Mom! You only ended up giving us $10,000 for a wedding. Yet you plan on giving Kevin a whole ton more when his wedding comes around? That's screwed up! Hmm... I had assumed that you and Dad had spent all your money, and that's why you only gave us so little. Yet you're now saying that you'll be paying for all of Kevin's wedding? What is wrong with you? That's not fair at all! You should at least only give him $10,000 as well! No, wait, you should only be giving him $1,000. You have no right to tell me what to do as a stranger. Your dad and I really want to pay for all of Kevin's wedding, so that's exactly what we're going to do. What? Unlike the man you've turned into these past few years, Kevin has remained the same kind and ambitious little man we've always loved. He even remembers to celebrate us on Mother's and Father's Day, and he makes sure that we have presents on our birthdays. It's only right that we want to treat him for being so kind to us. Wait, wait, wait. There's something wrong here. I, I know that I wasn't always there to celebrate everything with you guys. But saying that, just by doing that, you're going to treat him better than me. It's just crazy. Oh, what's wrong with us wanting to treat our only son with such importance? Huh? We once had an older son. But he liked to think that, because he was the first, he could get away with telling his parents off. So compared to him, Kevin is like a little saint that we have to praise. We even gave it some thought after everything you and M said, and I think we will be treating our oldest son with far more respect now. We actually had always wanted to treat our oldest with huge respect, and that's why we originally were planning on letting you handle yourself, so you weren't pressured like so many others. But now that you've cut ties with us, you're no longer the oldest, and so Kevin gets to take the seat. Really? We only have one son now anyway, and so there really is no problem with us doing whatever we can to take care of for only our son. What? Can, can you hold on, Mom? Mom, Dad, are you saying that Kevin is a way better son than me? Yeah, he's the best son we could have ever wished for. What? And that son of ours saying that he's going to be getting married really soon here. And he's told us he wants to use the wedding as a way of giving thanks to his parents. He even told us not to give him any gifts at the wedding and to let himself pay for everything. And since he said something so sincere to us, I had no choice but to tell him that we'd be paying for everything. Stop screwing around. Why are you giving him all the attention? You never did any of that for me and M. That's because neither of you seem to respect us, and instead, just sat there complaining the whole time. And unlike Kevin's fiancée, yours chose to start saying rude things to me, and act as though I was being mean to her. 
I'm sorry, but there's no way I can respect a couple like you guys after all of that. Wh what? So to make sure that I at least respect both of you wanting to cut ties with this family, I don't want either of you ever coming back here again. We have only one son that we need to start caring more now for. Um, Donna, can we at least just act though us talking about all that cutting ties stuff never happened? I've realized that cutting ties to all of you would be really sad, so how about we just start working towards building a strong family again? Huh? I don't want to do that. I think all of us like it much better now that you both aren't in our lives anymore. What? You think that it's better now that we're gone? You really don't want to become good family now? Yeah, I don't even want to see your faces. I went through all the trouble to help you both out a little, yet I never heard a bit of thanks from either of you two. So I have no need to come close to you guys. But that was all just because we misunderstood some things. We just thought you guys didn't have any more money, that's all. And I just assumed that you were trying to hurt me by saying you didn't want to help me with your oldest son wedding. But now Nick and I have seen what we misunderstood and want to make things right again. I don't think how many times I'll have to say this, but no is no. We're not going to change the way we feel about you guys now, so just stop trying with us, okay? What, what do you mean? I just wanted you to give us an amazing wedding. Why do you have to continue bullying me for that? If you think you can just keep doing that to me, I'll have no choice but to continue crying over it. Huh? I'm right in front of your house right now. I thought you'd want to make things right with us, so I came here hoping to see you today. But now that you've told me you don't want me to become family again and don't even want to see my face anymore, I'm done. I'm going to stand out here and start yelling at the top of my lungs that you're hurting me and trying to make me suffer. Then everyone in this neighborhood will know that you like to hurt your son's wife and they'll start to get upset with you. Does this mean you're threatening me now? I just want our families to get back together. Do you think I can come in for some coffee and we can talk this all over right now? Because if you say no, I'm going to have to start yelling and crying that you're bullying me. I wonder why you keep thinking that I hate you. Well, if you feel that way, then go right ahead. Right now, my family and I are on vacation with our son and his fiance, So we're not even home. Huh? You went with them on vacation? Those two really kept telling us that they didn't want anything from any of us for their wedding. But I just couldn't help myself to not give them something to celebrate them getting married, so I gave them this trip. And when I did that, his fiancé asked for us to come with them as well, so that we could all share all the fun. So the four of us are gone, right now enjoying a relaxing vacation in Bali. What? What the hell? You're a jerk! You guys never even bothered to invite Nick or I! Why would we ever invite two complete strangers on a trip with us? What? And I've already talked with all of our neighbors about how you guys chose to cut ties with us over not having any money for the two of you to take. So you can go right ahead and scream and shout about me because nobody's gonna care. Actually, I even asked them to record anything you guys do if they see you around my house. Wait, what? So go on now, start screaming and crying until you've gotten it all out of you. Now, I need to get back to my family before we head to the beach again. And just after talking with Em, I started receiving videos from all my neighbors of Em standing in front of the house crying in her hands. And then I took those videos and began sending them all to Em, only for her to leave them on read and never respond to me again. I also got a message from Nick asking to let us be a family again, and that when they have their first baby, they might need help taking care of it. But of course, that's none of my business, so I just ignored him instead. I'd like them for both to become decent adults together, so I think they need to respect what they say and follow through with it like the rest of us have. 